Believe it or not, I have waited three years to try the clubs that are in today's test. They are in fact from a Japanese brand that quite honestly, I've never tried any of their product before. And this one is really interesting. I'm gonna take a deep dive just to see how good these irons are, because from what I've heard, these could be very interesting. Those irons you are looking at are from Zexio, a company, like I said, that I've never tried any product from before. It's really interesting because it's a very much a premium product, but they do an interesting thing in that they don't only claim that the club head performs incredibly well in the hands of average golfers, but also the fact that the head and shaft combination in the way that it is weighted also help you square that club face up at impact. That is a theory that will certainly be put into the test in today's video. And that video comes to you from Quinta da Marina in Portugal, well, Cascai, which is just half an hour from Lisbon Airport. And we are here courtesy of Glencore Golf. And we'll talk about them a little bit later. And let's start there with the looks of this thing, first of all, because they're a real interesting looking product, plenty of high shiny chrome, which always appeals to me on the eye. And we like to categorize irons, this kind of game improvement iron, player's irons. I'm not really sure where you'd put this one because from the top line, it's, I would say online with maybe a P790, maybe even a little bit thinner in terms of that top line profile, but then the sole and that V-sole that we've seen in other products from this group in terms of the Strix and irons is a real interesting shape and profile, a little bit wider and maybe more towards that game improvement iron. But then the overall looks, like I said, that shiny chrome, minimal markings, it really does appeal to me, looks very easy on the eye. And like I said, heel to toe, overall profile. I think you'd probably put it into that player's category. And it's also a forged iron. Right, I think before we go any further, I need to explain what Zexio are claiming to do with this sort of shaft head combination. And basically there is some weight in the butt end of the grip that almost acts as a counterbalance, I suppose you would call it. It's also a very lightweight shaft. This iron shaft that I've got right now is 57 grams in reg flex. Basically, the principle is this, when you get to the top of your backswing, this weighting system is supposed to help aid that transition of back into the downswing and really squaring or assisting you in squaring that club face up at that impact position. That coupled with some tungsten weighting, perimeter weighting in very much the toe area is also all put together is supposed to help us and that's what we need to find out in today's video because there's two aspects to this how good are these irons in terms of their overall performance but also how good are they in helping me square up that impact location because that for me is the major selling point in these irons right so we're going to start off with that feel element because one thing that surprises me a little about this it is a forge club but it's also a cavity back and from memory, I don't really know of any cavity back forged irons, none at least that I can think of. So that is a real interesting bit for me. But when I'm going to play a full shot, I've got an eight iron. And I'm just going to see what sort of, like I said, responsiveness I get back in the hands from this type of shot. Well, that's going to come round a bit. But what did I feel? And the interesting bit for me is that it's still got a cavity back feel where the forged element comes in. It may be there, but it's certainly got a little bit of a clicky feel, one that you would more associate, like I said, with a cavity back. So the forged element, bit debatable that in terms of feel. I really like the way this thing is balanced and that is a key element to how they, Zexio, claim that this club and the counterbalance that is in the shaft helps you maintain that tempo and understand where you are in the top of the backswing and then how you bring that club face down and it is more square at impact. Like I said, a real interesting theory and I think I better just wait a second because we've got a couple of buggies that have just appeared across the middle of the fairway. What's interesting, that's another eight iron, but the feel out of that was actually better than that short shot I played. So uh, we'll hang fire on that feeling in terms of that forged club face. 
but how did the club perform? Well, I'm hoping what you notice from today's video is what I'm trying to do is buy into the Zexio concept in terms of that shaft counterbalance, the lightness in terms of the weight of the shaft and letting me feel that head throughout the swing. It was a nice, easy eight iron and I've got to say, I was quite impressed. Today's video comes to you in association with long-term channel travel partner, Glencore Golf Holidays, and we're at Quinta da Marina in Cascai, Portugal. The hotel and golf course have been a superb place to play and stay in the Portuguese sunshine, and the proximity to Lisbon Airport and nearby Cascai make it the perfect European golf destination. So if you like what you see in today's video, then make sure you click on the link in the video description below or head on over to glencoregolf.com for more booking information. Right, before I go any further and try and find uh, a nice little wedge into this tucked away pin, quick question for you. How many of you actually played Zexio product in the past and uh, how accessible is it as far as you're aware? Because that's going to be a key thing for me. I could give an absolutely glowing review and so far I'm liking what I'm seeing and trying but can you get hold of these things that's the key anyway back to the wedge shot this is not a Zexio product by the way come on it's got a carry it's got a carry oh hello that could be good We didn't quite manage that birdie, which uh, I was hoping you could stick around and see. Be right. Be the right club. Oh, hello. That's nice. Again, that's another 8 iron, 135. A really nice, easy swing. Trying to make use of this counterbalance element. Can I feel it? within my swing is it helping me to sort of that transition from the top of the back swing into the uh, um the, the the impact position is it helping me and i've got to say you know maybe it's again something that's in the mind but certainly at this stage it's allowing me to just slow things down a bit decent strike there on what is a really nice golf hole and what i really like again just going back to the overall profile of these things i mentioned earlier on still plenty enough compact to be classed as that sort of player's iron i suppose it's a really interesting one this from zexio i'm just going to go back to that profile element first of all let's see if we can get is that in focus then i think that it's quite a interesting shape and um, very neat i've gone into six iron expected to see a bit of a change up in in bulk if you like and it doesn't really happen it stays sort of very much in that same shape so there's no exaggeration into those longer irons um, but like i said it's a real interesting profile and sat at a dress really neat indeed i just want to talk about that sort of v sole as well i've hit quite a lot of shots without a t even from a t box and I like this thing. I've tested it in Strix and Irons and I've got a very positive opinion and that there's no sort of scientific evidence that I can present to you that suggests this works. All I can give you is an opinion, but I've got to say, really impressed with what that does. We have, however, teed this one up and I'm going to play six iron. Really nice looking tee shot. Can we keep that sort of nice, easy rhythm with this uh, counterbalance shaft? And it's a nice six iron. The answer is yes. It's bullet straight. Again, decent distance. That's the interesting bit for me is just how far these clubs are carrying. And just reference that again in terms of strength of loft. Seven iron, which is always our barometer in these tests, is 29 degrees. So on the stronger side, if you like, but yet again, what you've seen hopefully from some of these is in terms of ball flight, they very much defy that strong loft. At this stage of the review, it's very hard to be critical and find out what you would pick in this. And I know that a lot of reviews are very positive right now, but I like two aspects of what this does. One, how the club performs, but I'm also buying into this concept of this shaft idea. Look how quick these greens are, they're like lightning. 
Uh, maybe needed a little bit more because one of the things I was going to change from uh, my initial remark was about the way these things feel. That was another little A time from in and around the green. And uh, I've got to say, the sort of full of shots, the feel felt really, really good. And uh, I said with the A time, the short shot earlier on, maybe not so. But yeah, really impressed overall with what these irons have done. A little bit taken aback as well. I have waited three years or perhaps even more than that to try these products and uh, they've surpassed my expectations I think um, maybe didn't think that I would get the kind of performance out of a cavity back the whole sort of feel the whole package if you like that I've actually seen in reality out on the fairways I've got no dry ball data for this it's purely an on-course experience and I've got two things club head perform really really good and I think it would be a real interesting try for a lot of golfers, something to throw something very different in the mix. And uh, yeah, I think a lot of you would get on with it. The next thing is about this counterbalance shaft, which again, I really like, but maybe more importantly, maybe pushing my own opinion to one side, I think it would be really relevant to a lot of golfers to be using that lightweight graphite shaft with that counterbalance idea could be a huge benefit that I've certainly never experienced before. Right, that's me done. I think a quick thank you to Glencore Golf for getting me out into some sun over in Cascais in Portugal and also to Kinsta Marina, which is, uh, as you can see, in great condition, greens like absolute lightning and a bit different to what we used to at Hollywell. Right, that's a nice video done. I've asked the questions already. Make sure you uh, give me some comments down below. And as ever, I'll probably see you tomorrow night.